What's going on everyone? It's KT Pop here, coming at you with a brand new video. I hope you enjoyed my big Stray Kids video. It was a very difficult one to get sorted, but I had a lot of fun doing it, so I hope you loved it. We're back with another little unboxing today. Well, not quite so little. This is the biggest album I have ever seen in my entire life, so I am super, super excited to get into it. Guinness Book of Records, k pops biggest album. I don't think there's a Guinness World Record for it. And here it is. I mean, this is insane. I have not seen anything like this in K-pop before. And not gonna lie, I am obsessed. It's so big. This is like bigger than his actual face. At this point, we're bigger than life size. <laughs> what is that about? Where are you gonna put it? I actually have no idea. Just prop it up somewhere. I feel like I need to frame it and like put it on a wall or something. Cause where else am I gonna put it? But imagine if you were like a collector that wanted to collect everything for all the members and you had to have nine of these fucking things in your house. It got to this comeback and I was like, I cannot afford to buy everything for all of these members because they had three different versions that had versions for every single member. Insane. Not very happy about that, but I'm happy about this. <laughs> Matthew! Close up. It's a really nice shine there. <laughs> Make it look like I'm kissing him. Oh God, what is wrong with me? Bit of a behind the scenes shot, we had to go out so far. Yeah, you can see like past the edges of the table, which is a realm that you've never seen before. <laughs> We've had to really zoom out for this one. Breaking the illusion. Yeah, sorry guys. I did kind of want to show it against some other albums just so you can see the actual scale. I mean, you can already see the scale, like you put my hands on it. I actually have pretty small hands, but it's like one, two, like two and a half hands, Kate hands. It's <laughs> fucking mental. Let's see if, if the hand can, wait, it's the other way. <laughs> I can't do it like that. What a fucking idiot. So first of all, I'll put it against one of the photo book versions. Photo book versions. For this same album. So this is the, I can't remember what version this is now. Eclipse version maybe, but it's one of the smaller photo book versions. Photo book versions. So you can see it compared to that. That's fucked up. Two and three quarter photo book versions. <laughs> All the scale. As you guys might know, SM Entertainment really love to have things on a large scale. Their posters are bigger than all other groups' posters. Their albums tend to be pretty big. So when I first started collecting SM albums, I thought they were big. Okay, so here we have a shiny album. I thought this was big. Nope. <laughs> it's fucking tiny. Great album, by the way. Shiny, don't call me. Get on it. Put that there. I then also thought I would show it against this NCT Johnny album because this is kind of like an equivalent of what this Matthew one is because it's a member version. So this was the Regulate album from NCT 127 and yeah, the Johnny version. The head is not bigger than life size. It's not life size. It's smaller than life size, right? That's not the size of a human head. I mean, those are the three options. Yeah. <laughs> so let's have a look at him next to Matthew. Looks like the same. What? I honestly thought this was so big when I got it and it is nothing in comparison. So as always, I don't really know what's in here. I know there is a photo card and I think these ones are gonna be a little bit harder to collect because I don't really know a lot of people who are gonna be bulk buying these albums to try and collect a lot of these photo cards. So they may be in kind of short supply. You have me at Hello. This is their third mini album. The title was Feel the Pop. Sock Matthew, written in the corner there. Very, very small and you can barely read it actually, especially the Matthew, because they've got like this silver behind it and it's like gray letters on silver. That's a choice. And yes, a beautiful photo of him, larger than life size. I love this facial expression that this short hair on him has just been amazing, this comeback, this short black hair. Simple makeup, a little bit of a spangly outfit and a nice ring here. I am in love with this. Let's look at the back. There's another little photo of him in the corner there. Three EP for third EP and that's in a really nice shiny silver. Zero Base One, the third mini album. You had me at hello. Sock Matthew. 2024, Wake One. Not a big fan of Wake One at the moment. And here's a list of all the tracks. Solar Power, Feel the Pop was the title. Dear Eclipse, Sweat. They promoted Sweat as sort of like a pre-release single, which I actually really like a lot more than Feel the Pop. 
and I think the choreo is like really sexy and fun. Definitely check out Sweat if you haven't listened to the whole album. Sunday Ride, Hello, and Feel the Pop sped up version. I don't understand why these sped up versions is like a trend at the moment, but I never really heard about it until like the last month or so. Maybe I'm just behind the times. Oh, but this is nice. I like the back of this. Got like a nice landscape. It's kind of hard to see actually, it's a bit reflective, but got like a little desert landscape here with some tumbleweeds. Is that the ocean? I don't know. It's like a desert, but it's the ocean. Who knows? All right, I'm so excited to get into this. I wonder if when I open it, yeah, there's gonna be enough space. Should we open it? I'm kind of scared. Put it in the bin. Video's over. In the bin! This one I was like so impatient to buy. I ended up buying it off eBay because I was too impatient for the K-pop store to get it in. And then literally like two days after I bought it off eBay, they got it in stock. <laughs> so if I'd just been a little bit more patient, I wouldn't have had to spend that extra bit of money, but that's okay. It's Matthew, it's worth it. A little bit less damaged too. Oh yeah, okay. We'll, we'll be able to see it when we open it a bit more because of the reflection. This is a different way of me opening it, isn't it? It's like I'm- Pretty dangerous. It's like I'm undressing him. Yeah, it's a bit dangerous. I feel like it's gonna bend it even more. Oh no. Oh God. Okay, let's we'll get that off quickly. <laughs> now everyone's gonna be like, it was you that damaged it. No, it wasn't me that damaged it. It came like this. Yeah, you can see like, it's got a really big bend in the corner there. And then I actually noticed that it's damaged here as well. Yeah, the back is the same here. There's a big crease. Eh, so sad. Oh well. I can imagine that it would have been pretty hard to um, ship these out from Korea without getting some damage, so it's still beautiful. The first album you've opened that's got a noticeable odour. Oh, does it smell? <laughs> God, that felt so weird to do. Or maybe it's the inside that smells, is maybe. it? When you flipped it over, I got a big whiff. Mm. All right, we'll have a proper sniff when we open it up. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like we've got a fair few inclusions in here. Oh, okay. I had no idea that this was going to be separate from everything. That makes it even harder to store, that it's all just loose. Oh my God. All right, well, let's just get into it because we've already shown a couple of the things here. This looks like a random inclusion. So we've got Eugen here, some sort of ID type poster, I think, because it's got name, team, date of birth, place of birth, type. Type the ugly, what does that mean? That's not very nice. Date of birth, 2007, how fucked is that? <laughs> 2007. Eugene, he is the maknae of Zero, In Zero Base One, but a very nice outfit here. I like these um, pants. They've got like little divots in them, like little gold divots. They kind of look like couch pillows, <laughs> but in a, in a fashionable way. Leather cowboyish shirt. This whole concept was a little bit Western, I suppose. And yeah, another little photo in the, in the top there. This is so random. I don't really know. I guess it's just like a little poster. I don't know what this is. I'm feeling like it's probably a sticker of some sort. So let's have a little look. It is. It says sweat in like a nice graffiti print. I feel like the color of it doesn't really go with like the concept of sweat though. Fiery and wintry and not wintry. It's very fiery. Actually, I guess it does make sense. Sweat is like summery, isn't it? So red is a summer color because it's so cold in Australia right now. I'm like, oh yeah, red means winter, <laughs> but it does not. There you go, little sweat sticker. I'm assuming this is probably like a little lyric book or something. Well, oh yeah, we'll have a look at this now. Cute. Yes, yeah, so as I said, a little lyric book with all the songs and nice little pictures of all the members there. Ricky looks so good with this red hair, it's insane. I like this, that there's little photos in here as well. They could have just done, you know, a very simple lyric book without anything exciting, but this is nice. Oh, I'm trying to see like where all their arms go. I'm like, <laughs> whose arm is who? Like they look like they're one, they've become one. Ah, they look so cool in these outfits. Expensive cowboys is what I think the concept is here. The most perfect looking idols, I swear to God. Matthew, hello. Oh, little toy gun there. And a mask for some reason and a whip. Interesting. Oh, that's cute. We've got a poster as well. Another poster. So it's a unit poster. So this would be one of th 
three posters, I guess, if they've split them up into three groups. So we have Hao and Tere and Gunuk. Cute. I am very obsessed with Tere. He is one of the members that I collect. So I collect four members of Zero Base One, which is a very big mistake. And I shouldn't have done that because <laughs> it is very time consuming and costly. But I collect Tere, Hanbin, Matthew, obviously, and Jiwong. Um, so yes, I'm happy to get a poster with him in it. We have another sticker here. So the other one we got was Sweat, which is the other song that they promoted. And Feel the Pop was the title track. I don't know, it's giving me like 90s vibes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That font. I feel like everything used to be in that font. Flash towards you before a show started, like... Yeah. Hundred percent. Vibes. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have another sticker here. You had me at hello, which is the name of the album. Three pretty nice quality stickers here. And what is this? Oh, I guess it's the CD. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, these are actually CDs. They're albums. That's why you buy them is for the music. No, I love the music, but as we all know, as K-pop stands, we do collect it for pretty much everything else apart from the CD. But this looks kind of nice. I don't really know what it is. Like a, CD. A, a wave. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of weird. I don't know how I feel about that. It looks like that photo of the start of the universe. Oh yeah, maybe that's what it is. Cause this, okay, so this version is solar version. Maybe it's just a picture of the sun. Yeah, probably. You're so smart, Josh. This is why I have you here. Well, actually no. <laughs> probably for all the equipment and the editing and everything. <laughs> everything else that's not just me sitting in front of the camera talking shit. And the photo cards are underneath here. So we will look at those after we have had a little look at the photo book that back in there. Oh my god, everything's so massive. Fucking hell. Um, so the photo book is like very, it's just paper. Like it's actually the same texture as this poster. It's not like glossy or anything. It's just very, very paper. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it other than it's very paper. But on the front here, we have a nice group photo. Zero Base One, the third mini album, You Had Me At Hello. Lovely. Maybe we should look at the back. Oh, some more group photos of them at this little bus stop that's been a repeated motif throughout the comeback. This one you can also see, there's like this kind of weird bus stop. This one kind of looks more futuristic and watery. Then this one is a bit more like, I don't know, <laughs> dilapidated and in a desert. Let's have a look through. Oh, oh, what the fuck? It's not even stapled. What the hell? Look. So each it's just all just loose. loose. Oh my Is god. I guess. All right, let's just open it up and then we'll probably get a better idea. See, look, all this is bent as well. I love you just got a dodgy one that isn't stable. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> Couldn't be patient. We'll just send her the fucked up one. Okay. Ah, uh, so it is kind of a book, it's just not staple. Okay, cool. Because that's like separate. How first up here, looking very slay as usual. These poses are, yep, very him. And he's got like a fake gun, like a water gun, but it looks like gold and glittery, <laughs> which is totally his vibe. Um, he looks great in these photos as per usual. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of your head and body in this. <laughs> well, because I have, it's so big. <laughs> it's so big that I can't see what's at the top of this book. You know, <laughs> like I have to lean forward to see the top of it. Ah, Tere, oh my gosh. He looks so cute. Look at his eye makeup, sitting on a rock in the desert. A lot of groups seem to be doing these like Western themes at the moment, which I don't mind. I think it's kind of cool. Ah, Matthew shooting a bow and arrow. Love to see it. And just some unit photos at the bottom there. Just interested how they're breaking this up. See, there's just random members like on every page. It's just like tripping me out a little bit. I guess they can't just have one member for like six pages because they're so big. <laughs> so yeah, we've got like so many people on this page. I really love these little metal frame things that they were putting onto their faces. So Jiwung and Guven here have these really cool like, yeah, I don't know even know what they are. They're just like pieces of art that they wear on their face. Obsessed. And we have the baby here with Hao's fake gun. It's pretty cool. It's like really glittery and gold. Oh my goodness. We have Hanbin in the sort of golden oh, no. hour sunset here. He looks perfect. He is honestly one of the most perfect looking idols I've ever seen. He was just born to be an idol. Like his personality, his talent, his look is just supreme. Like he's top tier, honestly. Can understand why everyone's so obsessed with him. 
and he is also the hardest member to collect for me out of the four. RIP! This is pretty cool. I would kind of like this to be a poster though, but like it's literally two pages. <laughs> <laughs> and the poster that I got, it would have been cool to get a poster like of all the members like this because I really like this photo. This is really nice. This looks a little bit like crowded though, how they've just like chucked Chiwong there at the back. I mean, typical wake one, just not giving him his moment to shine, which is really annoying. I really like this big belt. I love all the belts. Are you just looking at things in the office and saying that you love them? I love belts and I can see many of them and I'm very happy by that. Happy by that? Happy with that? Does happy by that make sense? No. <laughs> I'm always making up my own words and phrases and sentences on this channel. Beautiful men. Next page. Given very big picture. <laughs> That looks like it's life-size. He has a really small face and head, so I feel like that's life-size for him. <laughs> Ricky serving face always, milady. The cowboys. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of leg. I like this page. <laughs> this is one of my faves so far, I think. He looks really, really good here. Sorry, my head. You know, I've just realized that I can actually just do this. Instead of leaning over to look at it, I can just lift it up like that. <laughs> What an idiot. Better now than never. I mean, I'm not even halfway through the photo book yet. It feels weird calling this a photo book. It's more like a, you're right, like a poster book, but not. It reminds me of one of those like, you know those really cheap or free music magazines you see it? Yes. I'm not obsessed with it. I love the photos and everything, but just the, the packaging is just very, very strange. Oh my God. Oh my God, I feel like we haven't seen like any of Gunwook, Gunwook yet. We haven't seen him at all. I'm sure we'll get him soon. Yep, <laughs> there he is. Oh, he's been doing archery with Matthew, that makes sense. Best boyfriends. Oh, this is nice. Okay, look, here's the center page. Here's your poster. That's pretty nice. But again, it is just like paper, you know? Can you turn that one over? What's on the other side? Oh, this is really nice. I love the black and white. We did have a black and white picture before, didn't we? On the lyric book. It is quite nice to get a black and white shot every now and again. And I think these outfits really lend to it with this kind of gray background as well. Guvin, Eugen, small head, small baby. Oh my God, Matthew. Right, I'm gonna do the thing that I said that I should do. But then if I lift it up like this, then the camera can't see it properly. <laughs> Little poncho sitch, love that. Oh, more black and white pictures. Oh my gosh, I'm actually very excited about this. These are beautiful. That is incredible. Look at Matthew, he is so hot. I don't know if you guys have seen, like Matthew just got back from a trip to Canada because he's from Canada. So he went to like visit his family, or whatever, for a short break and he came back and I don't know what's going on with him. Like the Canadian air has gotten to him and he is just unhinged right now. I cannot handle him. The Canada air has always hit me. I feel like I need to just block him somehow. <laughs> off my internet because he's just driving me fucking mental. Ah! Now we're back to color photos again. But look at this jawline, like what the fuck? You know what we should have done? We should have had Matthew in the background. <laughs> it's so much bigger when you start moving it around. Now everyone's gonna think I'm crazier than they already did. We've got Matthew next to us now. Look how much bigger the head is. <laughs> Some more sleigh pics of how, as usual, and a really lovely one of uh, Gonok in the sun. These photos are so nice. Do you think we're gonna get more black and white ones? Oh, he's got like the little emoji face, the little like, do you know that emoji? <laughs> I probably don't look anything like the emoji. Whoops. Yay, more black and white ones. These are so nice. I like how they've done it where one member is like in focus and then the other ones are in the background kind of fuzzy. It's like really effective. So did we get black and white photos of all of them now? The only thing about these photos is they're all quite samey because it's all the same outfits. So I think that's why it's nice that the black and white ones are there to kind of break it up. Knees! Just get excited by seeing knees. Wow, Ricky. This is a really nice combination, this page. Oh my God. I like this page too. <laughs> you get Hanbin and Knees and Ricky serving face. What more could you want in life really? Yay, okay, the black and white one. So this will be the last set of black and whites with Ricky, Hanbin and Jiwong in focus. I love these so much. And Hanbin's doing, been doing some archery too. This is, yeah, this is fucked. These three members are just epic visuals, insane. 
And another black and white at the end of the full group. Love that. <laughs> Just <laughs> get my photo book, oh, get my photo book together. Jesus, how the hell am I gonna store this? I feel like I need to like take it to a uh, like office works or something and get it like professionally bound or something so it doesn't all just fall apart. That's all our little inclusions apart from the photo cards. So should... <laughs> let's have a look at the photo cards. I'm excited. I'm gonna try not to look, I'm gonna try not to look at them too much because it seems like there's some information on the back. Let's get a zoom. <laughs> look how small the photo cards are compared to the album. <laughs> How many photo cards is it? One, two, three, four, five photo cards high. Like how Hello Kitty is five apples tall. So you're five apples tall, Hello Kitty? Uh -huh. Interesting, but what is your weight? Can I back up a little you, bit? Can you answer? This... Yeah, you can back up. Beep, beep. This album is five photo cards tall. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we get two photo cards here. Um, this one's like a hard sort of ID style one. And then this one on the right is the more traditional style photo card. I'm just covering it up because I can see that there is a signature and everything on the back. I did kind of see it and I do recognize a signature, but I can't remember whose it is. So it's still gonna be a surprise for me. This ID card, I'm not sure if this is random or if we're gonna get Matthew. So let's have a look. It's got a really nice back to it actually. It's like slightly, holographic -y, and it's got like a really nice indented you had me at hello so a very fancy let's see hanbin okay that's cool so it was definitely random yeah you can see that hollow on there if i just do that in the light on the camera but i'm very happy to get hanbin um he's one of the members i collect and as I said, one of the hardest to collect. So that's always nice to pull his photo cards. This looks like similar to the poster we got before of Eugen with all the information. That looks like what is on here as well. So you've got the team, zero base one, his date of birth, place of birth and date of issue and his name and a little number. I think this is his, you know how Eugen was the ugly for some reason? Oh, the good, the bad and the ugly. I just got that. <laughs> <laughs> D1, be the one. Let's show them what we got. Zero base one. I like this and we'll have to collect the other three at some point. Let's see who we got for the photo card. I'll turn it over first and then we can have a look at the details on the back. Who do we think we're going to get? You know who I always pull? I always seem to pull Eugene or Hao. So it might be one of them. But for some reason, I'm feeling Tere. So... Let's see, but let's still manifest Matthew for a second. My manifesting never works. Did it work last time? <laughs> He's right there. <laughs> I swear I felt something on my shoulder then. Maybe he's trying to help you. Oh, yes. Matthew, manifest yourself for me. That sounds so weird. All right, let's go. Ah, okay, this isn't bad. So, you know how I said I collect four members? <laughs> I kind of half, I'm kind of collecting four and a half members. So I actually really love Gonok a lot and I tend to keep his photo cards when I pull them. So I don't specifically search for them or buy them, but I do keep them when I pull them. <laughs> so that's why I say four and a half members. So I'm actually quite happy to get this one. I may actually try and trade it though, because I know it is going to be really hard to get the members that I actually collect for this version. But this is very cute, so I might not want to give it up. Here we have him in his little cowboy outfit, obviously, um, with very cute little hand gesture there with his hand next to his face in a leather glove. And yeah, I think this facial expression is very, very cute. His hair has been styled kind of like gelled and wet, which is always nice. And yeah, it's just, it's really cute. I like it a lot. Let's have a look at the back scene as we didn't really look at it before. So you have me at hello, Zero Base One, third mini album, a little message that he would have written there. And then I think this is his signature with a little, I don't even know what this is. It kind of looks like a whale or something, but not very cute little signature. And yeah, so that's what we pulled. I'm pretty happy with that. So overall, these two photo cards are, are pretty great, to be honest, good pulls. So that was my unboxing of the biggest album that I've ever seen. It was Zero Base One, You Had Me At Hello, Solar Version. Specifically, of course, Sock Matthew. 
Please let me know what you think about these massive albums in the comments down below. I'd be really interested to know which album is the biggest in your collection. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It would mean so, so much to me. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thirsty. Yep, let's zoom. I don't know where the how big the photo cards are now. Went a bit weird there at the end. God, that's kind of creepy. I can like feel him behind me. He doesn't even fit. He doesn't even fit. <laughs> so oh, bright. one of the cats came in. Who's in here? Sweat stick. <laughs> what if you move him back more? Because then it will be further away. Back to where? Oh, it can't. Okay, that's just fine. <laughs> I forgot that there was like a huge stand on it at the back to yeah, try and make it. Swim. Get out of here. Looking beautiful. As always. Thank you. Should I say something about it? Excuse me. That's the cats. I think they want dinner. What time is it? I don't know. It's dinner time. I'm working here. I'm working here. Yeah, it's five minutes till their dinner time, so they are upset. Mummy's looking at zero base one. There's a lot of methods for manifesting. <laughs> oh, th this was one of them. One of them is just like this. One of them is praying to Lord Taemin. I just gotta find the one that works, you know?